We are like the only people awake right now. We don't even think the coffee's open yet. It's been a whale sighting. Oh my gosh. A dollar bought a thousand number We are on our way to Captain Terry's boat. <laughs> We are on a cruise to Alaska. We are on our way to our first port in Alaska and I couldn't be more excited. I can hardly sleep. I just keep waking up and, and part of it is because I'm excited. The other part of it is because it's 3.49 in the morning and look how light it is outside. And by the way, that is straight up fog right there. Let me show you. Here's my balcony. Look down, there's the water and this is all the fog. I mean, it is so foggy. The other reason that I can't sleep is because all the almost as if it was on cue. So that is what happens when we have been cruising through the fog. So he has to blow his horn so people know that we're coming. And so little small ships on the water, for example, know to get out of the way because we can't see them. They can't see us. It is super bright and the horn keeps going off and we're on our way to our first stop in Alaska. So I can hardly sleep. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. <laughs> Alright you guys, this is very exciting. The pilot boat is coming in to jump on the ship to pull us into the port of Ketchikan. To me, this is one of the most exciting parts about a cruise ship. Okay, so let me explain what's going on here. We are pulling into the port, but the captain is not permitted to pull us into the port. A pilot, which is another captain, oh my gosh, we might be able to see it, has to come and basically drive us in. And so a boat, as we enter the port of whatever port we're going to, a boat with a pilot pulls up next to our boat. Can you still see it there? I'm gonna zoom in. It's hard to see beyond the light boats, but there is a pilot, a man or a woman, a, a person, who's going to literally, while we are moving, we are still moving, come off of that boat and get into our boat and then drive us all the way in and dock us at the port. So today that's the pilot of Ketchikan, Alaska. Now we won't be able to see the pilot jumping off because I think he or she is going to be like from the front of the boat there. But oftentimes we're down on deck five and we can look out and we see the pilot getting on the ship. And then as we leave the port, we go down and watch the pilot get off the ship. So if you stay tuned, we'll try to get that video for, oh, there he, or she just got on and now they go. So try to get that video for you later today as we leave the port of Ketchikan. Look at, <laughs> there goes the boat off into the mist. The mist that is Alaska. I couldn't sleep anymore. It's time to go. It's five o'clock in the morning. The pilot is docking the ship and it's time to go. So Mike and I are getting ready and we're gonna go up. I convinced him to get out of bed. <laughs> So we could go grab some coffee and watch us dock in catch can <laughs> They say that the town is absolutely beautiful and you can see it from the ship. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go Mike's a little bit of a delay fish <laughs> I keep dropping my phone you guys because I'm wearing these gloves I think I showed them to you in yesterday's vlog So, you know, they have the finger touchy thing so I can still use my phone with gloves But the gloves are very slippery So it's good to know now rather than when I'm filming over the side of the <laughs> edge of the boat and I drop the, the camera That'd be terrible. Come on, Mike. Let's go. He doesn't even have his shoes on yet. All right, do we meet you there? No Flipper. Yes. Let's go. Let's Thumper. Go. Thumper. Let's go. All right. Oh, wait. I need my key card. I'm still waiting for Mike. He's brushing his teeth. But I have to say, you guys, today is Katie's birthday. She turns 19 today. And we didn't buy the Wi Fi package on the ship because, well, I'm kind of cheap. And also, I kind of wanted to stay disconnected. But then I realized in the middle of the night, maybe part of the reason I couldn't sleep was I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I should have bought the Wi Fi package because maybe what if an emergency happens at home? It was silly of me. I'm like, I don't even know if the kids know the name of the ship we're on. Anywho, we just kind of up and left. <laughs> Is that bad parenting? Anyway, so since we're so close to the city and well, town and in America, I think we might have connectivity on our phones. So I'm out on the dock, deck right now, out on the balcony, um, and I'm gonna see if I can connect and wish Katie happy birthday. I'll let you know how it goes. 
Look who I got out of bed. <laughs> Come on, baby. But the problem is he doesn't walk as fast as I do. So I'm ready to be there. He's like lagging behind. Come on, Mike. Come on. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yay. Here's our elevator right here. Perfect. Ding dong. All right, you guys. We are like the only people awake right now. Like, we don't even think the coffee's open yet because it's 5 a.m. Here we go. Deck five? Okay. We're five. This is a really cool elevator. If we see another person, I'll be shocked. What if it's not open yet? It might not be. That's okay. We'll still watch us talk. Mike has to have coffee. <laughs> you guys, this is the glass elevator. There. The tree growing in that thing. That's pretty cool. Right in the middle of the atrium. We are on a cruise to Alaska. I've never been to Alaska. My very first Alaska cruise. And my family, my family's with us. But it's just the adults in our family, so it's not even the kids. So there's 10 of us on this cruise, and it is amazing. Are we waiting for it to open? It's not open yet? Not open yet. No coffee yet. All right, so that's okay. We're going to go watch us talk, and then we'll be back. All right, no coffee down there, you guys. It's not even open yet, so we're back up to the Ocean View Cafe. We're gonna go up, no, that's the back of the ship, Mikey. We gotta go to the front of the ship. Just oh, for Pete's sake, is, co is coffee open? This is the coolest thing ever. We are pulling into Ketchikan, Alaska. You guys, look at what this looks like. We are, this is misty. They call these this area the misty fjords. And you can see why. There's always a mist, she says. There's another celebrity ship, the Millennium. There's the Carnival Spirit. Look at the gorgeous mountains. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. I am like beside myself. I can't Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look. I should I should be oh my gosh. Is that quintessential? Look at that. Look at We're moving right there, okay. Michelle, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. Great. Everybody else is being very, very quiet. I'm not being that quiet, so I apologize. But look at how oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this town. Where's Mike Donnelly? He's probably in the bathroom. All right, look at them snow-capped mountains. Oh my gosh, this is oh, you shall. <laughs> I, I, you guys, I'm speechless. I really can't get over how beautiful. I mean, I expected, I had high expectations. This is stupid. It is so pretty. I'm gonna turn this around so you don't look at me anymore. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, my family's hysterical. Look at this. Oh my gosh. There's probably whales on the other side and we're all mesmerized by the by the town. You guys, Captain Terry's in there somewhere. I'm very excited to go see Captain Terry. Alright guys, we're heading off the ship. Everybody's down here and we're gonna go meet Captain Terry. Can't wait, beautiful day and catch a can. If Mike falls on a glacier, we might not. We can't him. even find him. Exactly. <laughs> He's got something. I don't know. Chris, you look glacier. like a fisherman, man. You he are like, like Captain Gordon. He, he totally does. You need to eat some fish and chips. Fish, no, fish, fish sticks. Fish sticks. Yes, fish sticks. He's what? James Bond. Yes, I'll give you James Bond. All right, you guys saw I've got my lumberjack shirt. Thank you. It's hot. It's hot out here. It is straight up. I think you're right. You guys, look how cute my sister is wearing her Lily Pulitzer in Alaska. I think it's the cutest thing ever. That is so Wendy. You guys, if you know, you know. I got lumberjack. She's got Lily. Look how cute she is. <laughs> you're adorable. All right, we got the whole crew, except mom and dad are not joining us on this excursion, right, Shelly? Yeah. We're doing a whole group excursion on the, when we go on the train to Skagaway, so keep your eyes peeled for that video. With this one today, we're going to catch a can. I think I've probably told you guys that 15,000 times, um, but we're going to go on a boat and 
beach tour. I guess there's beaches in Alaska we didn't know about. And we're supposed to eat reindeer sausage. Did you know that? What? Uh-huh. Yeah. Rudolph? No. How's it going? Great. How are you doing? Good. That is our tour, you guys. Are we the first to show up? Yeah. Excellent. We are on our way to Captain Terry's boat. We haven't seen him since March of last year, but we've been communicating back and forth. We've been trying to meet up with him in Key West because he was our captain in Key West. Last year, we went on the sailing boat and now he's in Alaska and we are too. And we're so excited to see him. Guys, I'm trying to find him. We're on the boat now. Everybody else is coming along. How you doing? Wonderful. You must be a good best captain in the whole wide world. See what I mean? I'm personable. He's amazing. I was doing charters in Florida, and these guys showed up. And I just fell in love with them. They're the absolute wonderful people, the best family I've ever seen on the planet. They start off each day with what makes you happy. What do you want to do today that's exciting? What do you want to do today that's thrilling? What do you want to learn today? And I tell you what, these guys set us a high mark that I've never seen in my life. They're absolutely so wonderful. I fell in love with them. <laughs> and she told me that they're coming up to Alaska to do a charter. It's like, I'm in Alaska. <laughs> she said, we're going to be stopping in Ketchikan to do a, do a day trip. It's like, I I, I'm in Ketchikan to do a day trip. She said, well, have you ever heard of this wildlife bon beach oh, bon park? Like, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so she said, can, you get on, can we be on your boat? It's like, if you get on any other boat, I will come there. I will do whatever. <laughs> and they just, the stars lined up, and they're with us today. Yay! 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 Oh, it's all about Captain Perry. Oh, my gosh. So happy to see you. We've got to get pictures for the kids. Oh, oh, how are they okay. doing? Fantastic. Today's Katie's birthday. She just turned 19. Happy birthday, Katie. Oh, she'll love that. You're having a great time. And you meet people from around the world that are just absolutely wonderful. And I look forward to going to work. I wake up every day when I get to work. And I have so much fun. I never want to see another piece of office furniture again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here and have fun. Woo! Let's do it! You guys can you see the boat behind me there's the boat and captain terry just pulled us right up onto this beach and we are on a beach where it's um actually an island of native people and i don't want to speak like i already know it because i really don't i think i don't know what they're the native people are called but they're going to tell us all about it and they have their i do know this apparently they have their own nation right here within the united states um where they live it's a sovereign nation and I'm gonna know more about it and I'll share it with you. But anyway, so Michelle is up there. She uh, 
was the first off the boat and she got all kinds of information, I'm sure. So we're gonna have a bonfire. We're gonna eat some food, we're gonna learn, walk through the rainforest and learn all about these native people. <laughs> so what are you doing there? And now we are roasting, is that what we're doing? We're roasting. We're roasting uh, reindeer dogs. I haven't had a um, reindeer dog ever. As a matter of fact, I don't even know that I've actually seen it. Oh no, I've seen reindeer in real life. But it's funny because I wonder, are they prevalent around here? They must be. I think they import. They import, they import the reindeer. Oh, oh, look at that. Ooh, How is it? Mm. I'm not a huge fan of hot dogs, but I gotta tell you. Very tasty. I put a little mustard on it. Is that the best reindeer dog you've ever had? Mm-hmm. I feel bad because every time my buddy is just like, she likes me. She I think you're cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. But Mike says there's a whale out there. And so does Justin. Did you already film that? No, I didn't. We gotta go see that whale. Beautiful. There's a humpback whale out there. We'll go find them. All right, you guys, it's been a whale sighting. So Captain Terry is taking us over to see the whale. He's driving right there, and he's getting all excited. There's Haley and Justin. There she blows. I'll shut up, we might can hear him blow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yeah. I was saying to my um, family earlier, I kind of feel like, you know, I've been to Paris, I've been to London. This is, um, it just seems more exotic. Like, Alaska's just like so cool, a, a wild frontier. And the views are, like, the nature about it is next level. Loving it. I'm, I'm, I'm falling in love with Alaska in a big fat way. So I hope that you guys are able to share this with me and I'm able to share it with you and that you're enjoying it as much as we are. Now, we're on our way to Juneau. I'm gonna go in, get ready. We just had a reception up on the helipad with um, with a lot of the different officers and stuff. That was super duper fun. Um, but my phone ran out of juice while I was on the whale watching trip. So I had to use Mike's phone. 
and so I had to charge it. So now I'm going to get ready. We're going to go have dinner. And you can tell my voice is a little cracky because I didn't get much sleep last night because I'm just too excited. I woke up when the sun came up. So I will see you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this island. You guys have to see this. Look at, look at, look, 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 look. Comment down below if you've been to Alaska before and if you know what I'm talking about. This is insane. And again, the camera is not doing it justice. It is just like fake. But it's real. All right, stay tuned, guys. We are at dinner. We've just finished dinner, but our servers are singers, so they're going to sing for us. She's singing hot stuff. Jamaica! She's singing hot stuff, and there's Pisa. Okay, here we go. Guys. Sing, hit my heart out. Sing, hit my heart out. Sing, hit my heart out. Waiting for some lovers to call us. Oh my gosh. A dollar bought a thousand number lately. Almost in the fun of the wall. I'm looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I want some hot stuff, baby, tonight. I want some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Got to want some loving. Got to want some loving tonight. Okay, be here. What? Hey, I made it back to you guys. My voice is totally gone because I am so tired. Actually, let me take it in here and tell you why I'm so tired. I did not get any sleep the night before we came on the cruise because I was up so late packing. And when I say no sleep, okay, I got like three hours of sleep. Okay, I can kind of count that as none. Then the night before the cruise, we got in really late because we had a delayed flight and then we spent, and then I stayed up working and then I slept for about three hours and then I had to wake up to get ready to get on the shuttle to go to the cruise. Then the first and second nights of the cruise, I didn't get much sleep at all. Last night, I literally went to bed at 12.30. I woke up at 3.45 a.m. because it was so light outside because we are in Alaska, which means that we are way up north, which means that the sun is up for like, I think it's something silly like 21 hours a day. There's only like three hours of darkness. So um, when I don't get sleep, my voice goes crazy. And I did scream quite a bit a lot last night because we were playing or because we were dancing to silent disco. <laughs> and so when you dance to silent disco, which you're listening to music in your ears, and then you sing, and that's it. So a mixture of being tired and singing, and I'm losing my voice, I can't even talk anymore. We are four hours behind Eastern time zone, which is where I live. So I'm four hours, like it's 9.48 here. But for me, because I still haven't really adjusted to the time, because I still keep waking up early, it is 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 48 in the morning. I am so tired. <laughs> Mike is in the casino. He loves playing crap, so he's doing that. I'm like, dude, I gotta go to bed. I was watching a magician and she was great, but I was falling asleep, which is not normal for me. So I'm so tired. So they have these like curtains that are, they close up or they, you know, shut off all the light. But the problem is, I love having the window open because it's nice, cool air and I can hear the ocean, which I can't hear at home when I'm sleeping. And I love light, like I love looking outside so I don't wanna close the curtains. But the sun won't go down for like three more hours and then it comes up three hours after that. So I'm in a bit of a pickle. Tomorrow morning when we wake up, I say tomorrow morning, like 5 a.m., we're gonna be in Juneau, Alaska, and apparently there's humongous, great big fjords, and we're gonna be like going through the glaciers really slow in the in the in the cruise ship and trying to like navigate around the ice that's in the water because there's glaciers and icebergs, and I'm so excited about it. So I really do have to get to bed kind of early. So I'm gonna try to go to bed right now, and sleep, 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 so we can get up tomorrow morning. So we hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see another vlog where we did an amazing excursion in Italy with Brennan, Katie, Ryan, me, and Mike, and we went to Pompeii. It was insane. Take a look at this video.